Hi guys, Miss Redican here. So we're gonna do a little review of the heating and cooling curves. We haven't looked at this in a little while. Um, we're, we need it to be able to compare the phase changes that we've studied previously to these new chemical changes that we're gonna start studying this week. So let's start with review. Let's take a look at this as a heating curve. It's a heating curve overall, it's going upward. And heating curves involve temperature change, right? energy in this case is being added. Okay, let's go through. Temperature is a measure of average kinetic energy. You can see Ke stands for kinetic energy. Okay, so let's fill that in. The temperature is kinetic energy, the energy or of the a particle's movement. Okay, so what kind of energy is associated with changes in temperature? Kinetic energy. Okay, we're on number two. Kinetic energy, again, is temperature. Temperature is a measurement of kinetic energy. So if the temperature is changing, kinetic energy is changing. Now you can see here in the graph, when we look up here, that during freezing or melting, vaporization, condensation, that PE is there, that's potential energy. So what kind of energy is associated with changes in phase? Potential. Potential energy is the stored energy. It's the energy of the spacing. Okay, number four, what happens to temperature when phase is changing? So you can see here during a phase change, the temperature is flat remains constant, okay? flat or constant. The temperature is not changing during a phase change. So is temperature changing during a phase change? We just said that, no. So we're on number five. During freezing, is the temperature changing? No, right? Freezing is an example of a phase change, so no. If heat is being added at all times, at a constant rate, where's the heat going when the temperature is staying constant? Well, the heat energy is affecting the potential energy or the phase. And again, we have a little thing to help us remember, right? Kinetic, potential, kinetic, potential, kinetic. That's sort of the pattern of a phase change. It's kind of like walking up the stairs. Okay, so phase changes or physical changes have a very distinct graph, right? Think of a staircase. Okay, hope that was a helpful review, and we're going to learn something new next. That's all for now.